the United Kingdom versus. Good evening, everyone. Folks, I cannot stand this woman, Meghan Markle. In fact, I completely despise her. And if I were British, I can't even imagine how I would feel. She is defaming an entire kingdom and every single person in it. She is doing it with malicious intent to wreck it and everyone in its reputation on a global scale, and she should be held accountable for that. I don't know if there's a way that the British government could sue her or bring suit against her, against her or if they even would, but perhaps the, the people of the United Kingdom kingdom that his citizens should get together and file a class action lawsuit of defamation against her. I'm going to be covering two subjects tonight on this matter, sec security and racism. Let's get started. First up, from the mirror, Meghan Markle's fears for children's safety sees Duchess in dramatic U-turn over Harry's UK visit. Meghan Markle is said to be fearing for her children's safety and is considering a dramatic U-turn over her family's upcoming visit to the UK, a source has claimed. Now, she doesn't cite any specific fears. She doesn't cite any, um, not, you know, not that they would say, but she doesn't say that there's specific intelligence coming in that her children's lives may be in danger or health or well-being. She doesn't say that there are certain elements of society or sectors of society that, you know, want to harm her children. She is painting the entire place and everyone in it with a wide brush. And she's telling the world that the peep, every single person in the United Kingdom is potentially dangerous and would harm a child, specifically her children, and that is so wrong. That's that. That's the message that she's saying here, folks. That everybody in the United Kingdom is too dangerous and would harm children, and that's why she fears for their safety. Yet doesn't cite any specifics. From People Magazine, Prick Harry tells London Court he does not feel safe bringing Archie and Lilibet to the UK. Now, Harry should be sued, too. If he's able to sue his father's government, his father's government, or the citizens in it, should be able to sue him. They don't say why. They're just telling everybody they don't feel safe bringing Archie and Lilibet to that country. What a disgusting pair these are. From me, and and I'm pointing these out because we've been hearing we've been hearing these accusations for a long time, and they're all over. You know, they're in the UK news outlets, they're the in, in the American ones, they're in the Australian ones, and everywhere in between. From E News, why Prick Harry says he and Meg Meghan Markle can't keep their kids safe in the UK. Harry argued that there's no possibility to keep his and Meghan Markle's kids, Archie and Lilibet safe in the United Kingdom without the help from police. So just any person on the street, they're telling the world, wants to harm their children. Sky News Australia doesn't feel safe. Meghan, Mark Meghan Markle having second thoughts over UK. Duchess of Sussex is having second thoughts over her return to the UK alongside Harry and their children. Meghan is rumored to be scared for their safety. From Microsoft Start, another American outlet, security concerns about children's safety mounts ahead of Meghan Markle and Harry's UK visit. Well, what are the security concerns? Again, I understand if you don't want to share details, but if you could just share a concern or saying, we've heard or we're hearing chatter or anything like that, it's just security concerns for children's safety. Not the family's safety, the children's safety. So anybody just want anybody in the UK just wants to harm children, their children. From Entertainment Tonight, Prince Harry's lawyer say he doesn't feel safe bringing his kids to the UK February 18th, 2022. So they've been beating this drum for years, folks. Telling the world this. 
Harry stresses security concerns for Meghan Markle and their kids. I cannot put my wife in danger. Well, she's in danger just because she's married to you, you dimwit. That comes along with the territory. That's just inherent. She's in danger no matter where she goes. Not really, because nobody cares about them. But you get what I'm saying. But, you know, the children. Fox News. Harry concerned for Meghan Markle's safety. I cannot put my wife in danger, etc., etc. From Elle magazine. Harry says he feels unsafe bringing his and Meghan Markle's kids to the UK. E! Online, Harry says Meghan Markle, him and Meghan Markle, can't keep their kids safe in the UK. Not in these places or, again, you know, you know, dry, whatever. It's just anybody on the street wants to hurt their kids. Anybody and everybody. From MSN, Meghan Markle's shocking excuse for canceling UK visit. Meghan Markle's... Uh, um, let's see. The Duchess of Sussex fears for the safety of her children. Why? What's the safety issue, Megan? We'll get to that, but are you afraid that somebody might do a... T I mean, I don't know. I don't really feel like getting into this, but, you know, there are many reasons, but I don't think it's from Joe Schmo and Tommy Toe that are just walking on the street. Or, you know, it's not like they're, they're going to be out, out in the open. Anyway, from the standard. Now we're going, you know, Harry's big argument is that, that his safety, his security team, security can't carry weapons. Well, nobody in the UK carries weapons, so it's okay. And they would get the security, you know, anyway. When did the UK ban guns? And what are the laws on gun ownership? There have been around 130 mass shootings in the U.S. so far in 2023. 130 mass shootings in the United States where Harry and Meghan live in 2023, but only seven in the United Kingdom since 1996. So the odds of, you know, Archie and Lilibet getting caught with a stray, you know, a, a stray thing that comes out of a a gun or whatever, are pretty nil. They're pretty nil. Gun control and ownership laws in the UK. The UK has some of the toughest gun control laws in the world. Okay. So are they afraid of that? Or are they afraid of, you know, some kidnapping attempts of Archie and Lilibet? Because you better believe if there were specific threats on Archie and Lilibet, they would have told us about it. Now, let's just go back to the Netherlands here, where Harry and Meghan were for, uh, I believe it was Invictus. There are no guns allowed in the Netherlands. Weapons permits in the ne Netherlands. The possession of all firearms, ammunition, and other weapons is prohibited. So, there's no guns there, yet they didn't bring Archie and Lilibet there either. But they didn't cite security concerns, concerns why they didn't bring Archie and Lilibet. You know who? You know there's a we can all speculate as to why they didn't the, why they didn't bring Archie and Lilibet, but they didn't bring them there either. So when they don't bring them there, it's not because of security concerns. They don't even address it. In Canada, Harry and Meghan just recently visited. There are guns in, in Canada. There's stricter gun laws than in the United States there, but Harry and Meghan went there without Archie, Archie and Lilibet. They didn't raise because of security concerns there. It's because they are defaming the United Kingdom. And they didn't discuss whether there were going to be security issues in Canada with, you know, firearms and things like that and whether their security was able to carry it. We just only hear about it when they go over there or are talking about going over there. And if it's so dangerous for them all to go over there, then why does Harry go over there? Isn't wouldn't it be unsafe for him too, but he can go. They went to Germany recently. Germany does have firearms. You know, they're pretty tight, but they do have them. They did not bring Archie and Lilibet there, and they did not cite security concerns as to why. They just didn't bring them. They don't bring them anywhere. 
So why would they bring them to the UK? Megan just doesn't want to bring them for whatever reason. It has nothing to do with security concerns. They don't bring them anywhere. They just went to Jamaica. They have guns in Jamaica. Jamaica is kind of a dangerous com country, I think. You know, it's not as safe as other places. I don't want to, you know. But they went there. They did not bring Archie and Lilibet there. And they did not say, cite security concerns. as to That's why they did not bring those children there. They don't bring them anywhere. There were no issues about the security. There was no argument about security there. Map of countries by their international homicide rate per 1,000 people. The year of data varies from 2006 to 2018. This is, um, I believe, from Wikipedia. And don't give me any shite about Wikipedia. They're not going to be lying about this. Sometimes they're slanted about things, but not this. So the United Kingdom has a 1.14 rate, very low. The United States has a 5.99 rate, where they live. But yet it's too dangerous for their kids to go over there because there's such hatred and racism. They can't go to the United Kingdom because it's too dangerous for them. What's the danger? They never say what the danger is. List of countries by international homicide rate. So we have Canada, where they went to live. There's a 2.3 rate. Germany, where they went, an 8.8% rate. Jamaica. A 53.3% 50 rate. They went there. The Netherlands, 0.8. Yet they didn't bring their kids to any of these safe places. The United Kingdom, England and Wales, 1.2. United Kingdom, Great Britain and North Northern Ireland, 1. You know, these, these numbers are very low. Then the United States, where Harry and Meghan live, is a 6.4 with a large number of homicides, yet they're not afraid. They're just afraid of every single person in the United Kingdom being a potential child harmer. Violet, now we're going to look at Monte Shicho. Violent crime in Montecito. Montecito is in the orange. Montecito has a, more, a higher violent crime rate than the entire state of California. Think about that, folks. California, a higher crime rate per 1,000 population, you know, per capita or whatever, than California, and that's where they live. Assault crime in Monte Shicho, much higher than the state of California, nearing the United States. But yet, the, every single citizen of the United Kingdom is too dangerous for them to be around. Robbery crime in Monte Shicho, higher than the state of California, close to the United States rate. Rape, grape crime in Monte Shicho, higher than the higher than the state of California. You know, Monte Shicho isn't the you know maybe it isn't all it's cracked up to be. It seems a little dangerous. But everybody knows Archie, Archie and Lilibet, that's where they live. Property crime in Monte Shicho, higher rate than the state of California and the United States. Burglary crime in Monte Shicho, higher than the state of California and the United States. Arson crime in Monte Shicho, higher than California and the United States. Yet going to the UK is so dangerous, even though they have security, you know, whatever level they have, they have it. Driving around in special cars and things like that, it is too dangerous because every single person could wants to harm those children. Back to the article. Meghan Markle is reportedly having second thoughts about her family's upcoming UK visit due, con due to concern over her children's safety following a leak of their plans, a source has claimed while speaking to a, a leading celebrity news magazine. The 42-year-old mother 
Okay. Of two had planned to return to the UK. She never plans to come to the UK. This happens every time there's something over there. And every time she uses this as an excuse to smear the people of the United Kingdom and the United Kingdom and not keeping them safe. She does this with the children every time. And the reason why, of course, and we'll get to this more specifically later, the reason why people want to hurt her very pale children is because of racism. But a source suggested to OK that her worries are seeing her consider a dramatic U-turn that may result in Harry making another solo troop. Again, why is it safe enough for him to go? She lets him go. If it's so dangerous, she wouldn't let him go. It's got to the point where Megan doesn't want to come to the UK with the children. She just doesn't feel safe. Yet the last time she was, no, at the Jubilee, she was there. She rolls down the window to see all of her, what she thinks are ador adoring fans, smiling. Now she could have, you know, there could have been a sniper on a roof somewhere. But she was willing to take that chance rolling down the window. And if people were throwing it at, at things and giving her dirty looks, she wouldn't have done that. But doesn't look like, you know, the smile. Anyway, the situation is now whether the family should attend with the with increased security or Harry should go at it alone. This is just another smear, folks. Harry doesn't want to keep making solo trips to the UK, the source claimed. He would prefer that the entire family made regular visits to see his family and build bridges. But there is so much going on behind the scenes that it just isn't possible at the moment. Well, then there you go. Is it security or stuff going on behind the scenes? It's stuff going on behind the scenes because of what they've done to the family. It has nothing to do with, you know, Joe Average Q Citizen in the UK at the gas station wanting to hurt two children because of racism. The Sussexes' much-anticipated trip to the UK for the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary service on May 8th is now shrouded in uncertainty after details of their visit were leaked, sparking security concerns. Who's concerned? They don't say their securities company concerns. It's, you know, either, you know, it's their paranoia or they're just smearing. I say smearing. Both Harry and Meghan were planning to come to the UK, right? But th when the exact time and date of their appearance were made public, she started to rethink that idea. And around and around we go. The source added, I'll get to the racism. I just have to get through this, folks. The source added, it was always known that the Invictus Games 10th anniversary service would take place in May, but the Sussexes were trying to keep the exact date from the public due to fears over their security. Well, they can't keep it. That's the service. There's a date there. When the date was inadvertently added to the official St. Paul's website, it changed the whole dynamics of the planned visit that Megan never planned on going on anyway. Moreover, so they're complaining that the security, you know, this date was released, you know, the insider, the source. Moreover, the insider disclosed exclusive details about the family's initial travel arrangements. So while complain, while the source, you'll see her in the middle, is saying, oh, they were leaked, the source, seen in the middle, is ex disclosing exclusive details. Harry and Meghan are planning a fifth birthday party for Archie at their dangerous Monty Scheidt Show home on May 6th, and we're then going to fly over to the UK on a private jet the following day. They claimed they were going to attend an anniversary service followed by a few more days in the UK so that the children could meet with members of Harry's family. However, a source has claimed the beneath... Here we go. Here it is. However, a source has claimed that beneath the surface of security lies, security concerns, lies a more complex layer of emotions. Megan reportedly doesn't want to be thrown back into an anxiety-fueled visit to England where she feels she's not wanted. And that's, that's the real reason. But because she needs to ruin the United Kingdom and everyone in it, because they didn't bow down to her the way she thought, she's got to ruin it. But this is why. You're not, you, you're right, Megan, you aren't wanted. You're not in danger, though. You aren't wanted. I'll give you that. 
but you're not in danger. You know, you're not worth anybody wrecking their life or going to jail over. And no one's going to hurt a child. She doesn't want to go because she knows nobody likes her. But yet she has to smear and make you all seem like child. You'd hurt two children. Meghan Markle's change of heart leaves Harry facing two difficult choices. This is a different article. Meghan Markle is said to have a change of heart over Harry's potential, fearing potential trip, now fearing for her children's safety. Now, she never really says, he'll say, I fear for her safety. Her, it's always my children, my children. Yet, you don't take them anywhere else either. And you don't say it's because of security. Just there. She's smearing everybody and a country. It's un. Believable. Somebody needs to get five of you British citizens together and sue her for defamation. And she's doing it globally, globally with the intent to harm. Now to the racism. Megan said racism drove her out of the UK. Black Britain asked, Black Britons ask, are we still here in 2021? So the United Kingdom and everyone in it, racist and everybody in it, every racist in it, drove her to leave. NBC News, Meghan Markle and British racism, what her saga says to the black Britons. It reminded us that we shouldn't get too comfortable and no matter how much we think we are accepted into society, we really aren't. Really. And then she's stoking the flames, folks. This is to bring to, we all know, I don't need to get into it. Meghan Markle said she wasn't treated like a black woman until she went to the UK where it was made an issue. Well, Meghan, I can't, I don't really know, but how are black women treated? And how would you know anything about it? You know, how many black women have gotten to marry a prince the, in the British monarchy and ride around in a carriage? And have hundreds of thousands of people adoring you and taking pictures and happy to welcome you. How many black women have been treated to that? None. Maybe a half of one did, but. Meghan Markle named two members of the royal family who were racist about Archie. Now, when you call the royal family racist, you're calling the British people racist and you're calling the United Kingdom as a whole racist because the royal family is the United Kingdom. And there's no proof of it. She just says they were, allegedly. Yet Chris Rock, you know, she's saying that, yet everybody and their mother knows that that wasn't, you know, talking about that, if it even happened, I personally don't think it happened, isn't racist. Chris Rock unloads on Megan and royal family over racism. He was based, and th these are just some examples, he said it wasn't racist that they were talking about it. Archie. He said, everybody does that. It's not racist, you moron. You're acting dumb. He ripped into her. You know, when you start, start calling racism where there isn't racism, it, it, it drowns out where racism really is, and, that, and races, real racism is able to hide. NBC News, Meghan and Harry's interview lays bare racism in the UK, Black Britain say. It's just a constant reminder of how we're seen and how little black and brown people are respected. Now, let's go into the proof to show that Meghan is defaming the United Kingdom. Is the UK a good country to live in? The UK, in fact, now ranks as one of the most accepting countries internationally, as shown by new data from the World Values Survey. Generally, the most tolerant countries in both studies were Scandinavian countries, Latin countries, and the United Kingdom and its former colonies. Business Insider, the 25 most tolerant, progressive, and environmentally friendly countries in the world. Coming in at number 10, despite Brexit, which made it be at number 10, it would have been lower. Despite Brexit, overall, the UK performed well, coming in at number 10. This is largely thanks to its rankings in personal rights, safety, tolerance, and inclusion. 
The United States comes in at 21, where Harry and Meghan have decided to live. There's no inclusion or anything like tolerance in the United States. Washington Post, a fascinating map of the world's most most and least racially tolerant countries. So again, I just want to say by, you know, there's all the proof in the world the United Kingdom is not a racist place and there's, you know, there's racism everywhere, but it's not like she's portraying it. She's defaming the United Kingdom and everybody in it. Share that answered, people of another race when asked to pick from groups of people they would not want as neighbors. So the United the United Kingdom is in the lowest here. The United States also is. So those are some of the least racist countries in the world. Anglo and Latin countries most tolerant. People in the survey were most likely to embrace a racially diverse neighbor in the United Kingdom. Yet, Meghan Markle faced all this racism. From the standard, which countries are the most racist? Survey asks UK among, survey says UK amongst least racist countries. The findings of the new study clash with previous findings about the UK's racial prejudices. The countries that showed prejudice towards immigrants and foreign workers were ranked below. The United Kingdom comes in at number 21 with only 5%. Yet every single person walking around wants to harm Meghan Markle's kids because of racism. The United States comes in at 19 with 8% where Harry and Meghan choose to live. What she's doing is on purpose, folks. Not that we didn't know. From Euronews, and this was the most racist countries or discriminatory countries in Europe. As you will note here, the United Kingdom didn't even make the list. So that's all I have for you folks. She's defaming the United Kingdom and everybody in it. I wish there was some international lawyer watching to see what could be done about this. She's trying to wreck the country, wreck its reputation. She's smearing every single person in it, lab lab labeling them as potentially dangerous towards young children because of racism, and they're just all racists. When the evidence proves that that's not the case. And the lack of evidence that Megan cites in these security concerns or threats proves that it's a lie. And she just doesn't want to go because she's not liked, and that's right. I don't think that she's welcome, but she's not in danger. And certainly neither are her children. This is a disgusting human being. And like I said, you know, Harry's just as guilty also and if he can sue his father's government his government father's government should be able to sue him or the people i don't know but i mean i i just found this just absolutely disgusting they don't take their kids anywhere they don't take them there either but they say it's because it's too dangerous for two young children looking forward to your comments over and out.